Hardcore Minecraft. Something I've never attempted to do or honestly even wanted to try. But today, we'll be attempting to survive 100 days. My goal is to beat the Ender Dragon and make the most amount of progress possible. If I die even once, it's over. Before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. This video took over 30 hours to make and every bit of support means a lot. Enjoy the video, you guys. We need wood and we need food and we need to start mining, okay? Wood, food, and mining. We want full diamond armor uh, by day two. That's the goal, you know, same thing. Here we go again, baby. Here we go again. So, just like my first attempt at a hardcore world, my first couple of days on this world were just mining. Full diamond armor, though it didn't save me the first time, <laughs> really does make me feel a little bit safer. Plus, having the materials for a nether portal, an enchantment table, and any iron or gold I need for farms is a big plus and a great start. All right, okay, a, a spawner. A, sp a spider spawner too. Fortune three? What? Fortune three? No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Fortune three! Okay, we got super lucky from a spawner. We got like the book that we needed the most, you guys. Which is Fortune three, which will make our mining trip a lot faster. So, uh, we have three diamonds. Oh, let's make a pickaxe. Three diamonds, our first diamond pickaxe, and already at fortune three, baby. Oh, thank God, this feels so good. Feels so good. All right, how many diamonds? Three diamonds from that one? Oh my God, it's gonna make life so much faster and easier right now. By day three, I had full diamond armor and a little bit of diamonds to spare, plus a lot of ores, so I decided I was done mining and I head to the surface. Okay, now time to figure out where in the world is gonna be my home in this crazy place. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Nothing? Silk, that's pretty good that's pretty good iron I'll take I'll take I'll take the bones again and yo 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 oh my god what is this Fish you want but oh my god <laughs> let's go oh my god an enchanted golden apple you guys an enchanted golden apple what do I even do? What are we even doing? What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh my god! I don't need this wood, bro. Day three! Day three, you guys! So, after that crazy find, our next step is to search for a village. A village is gonna provide us with a super nice start. We're gonna be able to use those villagers for trades for enchanted books. They're good for all sorts of automatic farms like iron farms and food farms in general. And overall, it's just a really solid start for the beginning of a hardcore world. This is beautiful. This is amazing. Okay, we're at our house. We're at our village. This is what we need. This is great. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, make a house. Um, do you think if I just stole this house right here? All right, this is my house now. This is my house, this is my house now, screw you guys. It's mine now, sorry. After a totally not hostile takeover, I start to work on my very first auto farm of this world. This is gonna be an automatic potato farm. Now this design is super simple. I built it in my first try at a hardcore world. It's based off of Ducky's design that he built in Cloudcraft, if you haven't seen that. Super simple, super easy to make. So I start working on that and after a quick trip to the nether for some quartz, I end up finishing it without too much trouble. And there we go, potato farm is done. Just gotta wait for it to get started. Yeah, the villagers still on the roof. I don't, I don't know why they are on the roof but i'm not i mean that's that's fine <laughs> i guess now we get started on a super simple villager breeder i built this before a couple different times again another super simple farm that i built in my first try that i died in really wish that i didn't have to restart and do this again but whatever so yeah it was it was mostly painless it's pretty easy to do besides a little bit of uh, frustration from some villagers no where are you going where are you going? Why are you going up there? There's nothing up there. But besides that, we did actually end up finishing it pretty easily with only some slight strain mentally. <laughs> yes, you st stupid, stupid, stupid idiots. You're dumb. You're trash. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a child. That's the only thing you can do now, bro. All you can do is have children now. Good job. Now you know your one true purpose. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hope you enjoyed the party house for long. Day eight, baby. Day eight. <laughs> All right. Now we got to clear out another area for our wheat farm. Well, all right, you guys. We have our wheat farm and we have our potato farm. Nice. The auto wheat farm is actually the same design as the potato farm, just with wheat this time. And now that I have an auto wheat farm, I decided to start working on cow crushers. Cow crushers are amazing. They're so simple. All they are just like a bunch of cows in one little area. And then using the wheat that I get from the auto farm, I'm just going to keep feeding the cows. They'll die. It'll give me a bunch of leather and a lot of steak too to eat. It's overall going to be useful. And especially coming up when I get enchanted books, I'm going to love that leather. All right. So what, how this works, guys, is we'll take wheat, which soon, hopefully, will start being produced by this guy over here. Right now, he's just making bone meal, but I think that's because of the seeds. Next couple of days, I just started doing some assorted things around the world. I started a villager trading hall with some farmers in there and Fletchers to start trading for emeralds. I also planted a whole sugarcane field. I actually memorized a super efficient way of planting sugarcane from a farm that I built in Cloudcraft. Pretty simple once you get the hang of it and it makes you be able to plant way more sugarcane in a very small area. I've also been slowly breeding the cows until I get up to 24. Once you have 24 cows in an area, the entity crafting will start and the actual mob crusher, cow crusher will start producing meat and leather. Around day 15, I started building an iron farm. Now this is the iron farm I always build. I've built it many times. It's the design by Waddles. There are simpler versions. There are other versions of this farm. Um, I prefer this one because I know how to build it. I don't need to look up a tutorial at this point. It's super simple. I've memorized it and it works well. I, it just overall works well. One thing I had to do is you need to have a zombie trapped in this farm and I did not have name tags. So when it was nighttime, I just kind of threw items at zombies until one happened to pick one up. And once the zombie picks up an item, it does not despawn. And we ended up finishing the iron farm around day 20, which I think ended up being a pretty solid ending for the first fifth of our 100 days on hardcore Minecraft. Well, uh, iron farm finished, you guys. Nice. So now we'll be able to produce as much iron as possible. Now, it, it should just be producing iron while we play the game. So we're good. That's day 20. The next 10 days was almost exclusively about getting good in chance. I really wanted to be able to survive anything that came at me. I was pretty lucky. I got pretty lucky with some of the enchants. All right. So we got you. Oh, prop four, you guys. It costs uh, 19 emeralds. Sorry, you can't see. I can move my camera real quick for you to see. 19 emeralds nice others took me a lot longer but for the most part i did pretty good about getting the enchants couple things held me back though villagers are just so dumb sometimes they're just so they're so they're, they're just so stupid i can't handle them all right he should just walk right over to his area yeah nice you just i think he's just gonna go all the way there no 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 Ooh, a little nervous. <laughs> we'll see what the price is. What? Go in. Go in. Go in, bro. Go into the, the room. What is he doing? I also decided to build an auto care farm and a super simple wood farm just so I could trade for some extra emeralds and make sure I got those enchants as soon as possible. In the last 10 days, we've done a lot. Uh, I've gotten way better enchants than I had. I have full mending on all my armor, prop four and everything, and I'm starting to get unbreaking on there. Uh, my fortune pickaxe now also has mending and unbreaking, so now it's all I really need to use. Uh, and I also, I do have some more villagers. I will show you. Uh, I have some villagers over here that I have set up for sharpness, and I want to get an efficiency one next. And yeah, and we're just slowly getting more and more emeralds. We got prop four here, 19, pretty cheap. This guy got unbreaking, pretty cheap, 19 again. Silk touch for only six. I figured I'd keep that because I'll, I'll need some silk touch more in the future. It's pretty cheap. Uh, sharpness five, 64 emeralds. I was hesitant to keep that, but I only need to buy it really one time. I need to buy sharpness five, you know? And by the time, if I need to buy it again in the future, I will have probably a lot more emeralds by then. So I'm not too worried about the price of that. And then we got mending right here and it's only 15, which I thought was a pretty good price, you know, like, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. I just gotta get an efficiency, uh, efficiency villager. And then honestly, like, I don't think we really need that many more enchants. Like we need like other stuff like looting, 
and smite vibe that kind of thing but like that's not necessary that like that's not really that necessary to survive you know so so for the next 10 days we didn't do anything very crazy my first thing i wanted to do was make my trading hall just look a little bit nicer i played around with it for a while added stone brick added some different designs at first it wasn't looking quite how i imagined it but at the end i do think it turned out looking pretty good we then decided to explore the nether after going by a million bastions and taking a real long time we finally managed to spot a nether fortress man my nether fortress luck is non-existent but my basalt luck my or my my bastion luck is all the way you guys that 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 thing's turned up to the max <gasps> there she is but let's go oh well i gotta say the best feeling ever is after hours of searching for another fortress finally seeing one but on day 40 we finally got in we started farming blazes and slightly looking for some wither skeletons i don't have a good sword so i wasn't too worried about it but we started keeping our eye out for them we killed whatever ones we came across sadly no skulls yet after an honestly pretty uneventful trip we made our way home and that is day 40 you guys all right so a little update day 40 you guys uh so in this time i've been kind of I don't know, trying to make this look different and a little bit better. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm too happy with the way it looks. I don't mind it. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I definitely got to tweak it a little bit, play it, play around with it more, make it look just a little nicer, you know? Uh, then we have our iron farm up here still going. We got like two rows of iron ingots by now. These guys, very awesome farm. This is one of my favorite things I've ever built, to be honest. Uh, I didn't know they were this good. Like I always knew cow crushers were good, but like they're so good. Like, I just feed them, and they, they die, and I get so much, like, freaking leather and, like, beef, and I don't have to worry about anything. I just, I don't got to kill them myself. I don't got to worry about uh, having enough cows to breed more. All I do is breed them, and then it just gives me, like, infinite leather and beef. Like, so, I'm, honestly, food-wise, I'm pretty set. Like, I, I don't see myself running out of food in a while. Carrot Farm has also started up. Um, another source of emeralds for me. In the next 10 days... My goal is to build a raid farm. Finally, a raid farm. This is something I've wanted for so long in my world. This is gonna give me infinite emeralds and more importantly, totems. So I, I don't have to worry about dying. If I fall off and I'm stupid and I, I fall off a farm I'm building, I won't die to fall damage. If I fall in lava, I'll get fire resistance. If a creeper explodes, I won't die. This is something I wanted as soon as possible in my hardcore world. Now. The raid farm design that I'm doing is by Ian X04. It's super, super simple, not hard at all. But the next five days in game time, I spent preparing materials for this because it just, it does require a little bit of materials, really nothing major at all, honestly, just like some sand, glass and boats and stuff. It's a super simple design. I was just going a little bit slow on these days. Hopefully if I could get a trident during this whole process, which I feel like I tend to, it tends to happen, you know, when I'm not trying to like, actually farm for tridents i get them all the time that could be kind of nice i'm not gonna lie that'd be awesome uh okay so now we just gotta find a uh piglin pillager yeah finding a pillager not quite as easy as i thought it was gonna be for context the time i spent building the farm after getting materials was only like two or three days to find the pillager i wandered for like six whole days to find an outpost this thing took ages but eventually we did find an outpost and then we made another pathway from the outpost to the farm so that we can get bad omen whenever we need to i think we're ready to use the farm just grab a boat and head over now this is my first time using it let's hope it goes well uh if it doesn't go well i guess this is the end <laughs> i'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because what if i die i don't have any enchants on my sword i just want to use it once yeah, raid is starting. Raid is starting. Go over, to, go over to this side. Get up. Get up there. The raid is starting up, you guys. Let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. Oh, my God. I'm getting smacked a decent amount here. I think, I think sharpness five and looting will will do great for this. My God, the witches just 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 keep on kicking. But hey, I mean, it works, right? I, I'll, I'll live, right? I, I want to run it a couple more times to get enough emeralds to afford sharpness and stuff, and then I will leave. 
The straight farm works great, but a couple things before I move on. First, the sword. My sword that I was using during this was only a normal diamond sword. This is not what you want to use. You want at least like sharpness five and you probably want sweeping edge just because you want to be able to kill the witches as quick as possible. The witches live for so long and you need to kill evokers as fast as possible or else they'll keep hitting you through walls and summoning in more and more vexes. Also, I'm pretty stupid. So I kept opening up the gate instead of flipping the lever, which messed up how all the red is set up in a line so then I would lose my bad omen without a raid spawning so that was really annoying but other than that this worked great I got a lot of emeralds and a lot of totems super quick fine oh my god guys what I have totems I have infinite totems wait 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 that is a trident man who just broke my boat give me your trident give it to me give it to me now give it you little blue man you you're not even part of the group. I started the raid. He dropped the trident. I started the raid though. Shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Give me that trident. Where is it? There it is. Yes. No, the raid started. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> I hope it's, I hope I, they, they spawned up here. This is not good. You guys, this is not good. It's okay. It was worth it. It was worth it. Maybe they spawned up here though. Maybe it'll still work. I might have broken it, guys. Not broken it, but I might have wasted the bad omen that I just got. But that's okay. If that happened, that's fine. Did I see your peek up there? Yeah. Well, I got to try it, though. Yeah. So, losing bad omen happened a lot. I got to edit, like, 10 hours of footage soon. And, like, I've already had to edit, like, hundreds of hours of footage. And, like, I got to... Like, just with my... With my um... Oh, shoot. I got to just... I think I just, I just screwed the pooch. Yeah, guys, I I think, I, guys, I think I'm stupid, but that's okay. I had the outpost, so I could just go back to get it whenever I wanted. Hey, got one. Now that I had infinite emeralds, my goal was to get every enchant I needed from villagers. I already had pretty decent enchants on my armor, but my tools were trash, and I needed the more focused enchants like respiration and depth strike. Right, let's see. So, let me throw... Depth Strider onto my boots. So with good enchants now and infinite totems, I decide to just go waste two days in the nether. Let me explain. So I didn't really have that good of a plan for today's session and I didn't quite feel like getting off yet. So I thought maybe I could get some Wither Skulls and kill a Wither. But instead of doing that, I just kind of wandered around the fortress talking about Burger King and getting no Wither Skulls or kind of, honestly, not really seeing any Wither Skeletons either. There's no, I don't know how to make Wither Skeleton spawn. It's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Have I really not found one Wither Skeleton, a single one? There's a good blue cheese and then there's a bad blue cheese. Most restaurants, especially like chains, have the bad blue cheese. Wendy's burger quality, Zach, I agree with you, but their options are, aren't as good. Uh, but yeah, so like my, McDonald's fries are like absolute F tier trash or S tier amazing. Like McDonald's will sometimes have the best fries out there. Guys, I think I, I, think I gotta just leave this, bro. Like, uh, I, I, man, I'm not, that's probably the worst luck for with the skeletons I've ever had. A couple days of grinding later, and finally, the day has come. After making sure I was going to be as safe as I could possibly be, I headed to the end. I think we're ready to go. Let's go like right here, on top of the very first potato farm I built, and just see which direction are we headed in. That way, okay. All right, let's throw pearl, let's throw pearl. Dang, bro, I'm already, bro, I'm already past it? He's like right here. Shoot, dang. Uh, that scary, 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 scary thing. <laughs> oh no. All right, we only got four minutes, so. Okay, 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 okay. Best end spawn. Bat, oh. The best place for that platform that it could have possibly been. The end fight was pretty average i guess i was super nervous so i didn't go too quick i didn't use bads or anything i did get tossed around a little bit but i had slow falling so i just kind of floated down this is fine everything's okay <laughs> 
One thing of note is that I couldn't see how much health I had the whole time. I'm not actually sure why this happened. I think the game just knew how overprepared I was, so it just made the fight just that little bit harder. But either way, I killed the dragon pretty painlessly the in the end. slowest dragon fight you've ever seen. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> we did it! We did the- oh my god! We literally- we did- wow! We did the ender dragon fight! Oh my god, in hardcore! Let's go, day 70! Now that I've achieved something that no one has ever achieved before, and become the best hardcore Minecraft player that's ever lived, I decided it was time to go through the end and find an elytra. Oh! Let's go! Let's go, you guys! Look! Look at that! An end ship! And we're not even that far away, bro! We can go home! Is that another elytra? It's a, it's, a, it's a second elytra! Double elytra? Oh my, wow! Finally, our first elytra, you guys. Look at that, sky's the limit, you guys. Let's go. Let's take out our anvil that we brought along. And our books. Throw mending on there. Throw and breaking on there. Let's go. Look at us, bro. Look at us, bro, we're drippy. We're so drippy. Nice double elytra. Now I can't say how much I'll end up needing two elytras, you guys. Like I just, I just can't say. Like I, I, I if I die, you know, with an elytra, I'm just, it's gone forever. You know, like every, the whole world is gone. Like, I, I don't really know if I'll need multiple elytras, but hey, maybe one will break or something, or I'll lose it by accident. Might as well take it, right? I didn't, I didn't die in the end. I'm out of the end. The credits, bro, I can't, I honestly, like, I can't really believe it, bro. What is this? We put, put, put this bed here. <laughs> Why is the bed, th what is this? This is a stupid placement for a bed. <laughs> what the heck? Now that I've defeated my main goal and adversary and explored the most dangerous area in Minecraft, what's the next step? Well, for me, it's to become even more powerful. My items were great, but they were lacking a certain something. They were a little too blue. I needed netherite. So I got to work on a creeper farm. Yes, I know I just said that I needed netherite, but let me explain. Having gunpowder allows me to get TNT, which is the best way to mine for ancient debris. Plus, an infinite supply of gunpowder is super helpful for fireworks. All right, so we gotta get the materials we get together for the creeper farm. Uh, creeper farm we're using, you guys, is from Shulkercraft. Let's make some shulker boxes, you guys. I didn't build this farm and get netherite before the dragon because honestly, it's way easier building farms when you have shulkers and an elytra. And since I was comfortable killing the dragon without netherite, I figured this step could wait. Ah, oh, right here, right here, right here. All right, this should be perfect. Uh, it's a deep, lukewarm ocean, and we have a good border. All right. I built this creeper farm before. It works super well, and it's not too complicated or material heavy, so I decided just to build this one again. All right, so creepers should start falling down. This is not where we have cable. Let's go, it's working. Our next project is netherite armor guys netherite armor i don't know how long that's gonna take we'll see uh so i did afk a little bit uh, I, I think i spent like a couple to maybe three minecraft days afking i'm not sure but we do have a decent amount of gunpowder saved up so let's go look at that oh my god look, how, look at this farm i have tons of gunpowder saved up Using the gunpowder from the farm, I was able to make five stacks of TNT, which was able to get me enough netherite for all of my tools and armor. Here is the moment, you guys. We have all of my armor, and it's time to make it netherite. Oh my gosh, day 89. We did this before 90 days. That's awesome, you guys. Look at that. We have two extra for when I make another sword and a netherite hoe. You know what? <laughs> We can't forget the, the hoe, you guys. That's the most important tool. That's, we gotta have it. So the end of day 89 and beginning of day 90, I spent trying to get soul speed for my boots. I've never actually had soul speed before, so I was pretty excited. But after I got it, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little disappointing. 
Soul Speed. I've never had Soul Speed. Starting at day 90, I finally decided to spend some time to make my house and overall base look nicer. I heavily decorated the inside of my house, and I even added some lighting to the outside. Oh, and I also got this cat named Grid, whom I love with all of my heart. Yay! Hello, your name is Grid. That's your name. You're gonna live up here. I love you, Grid. I would die for Grid. After that, I once again wasted another two days looking for Wither Skeletons. I just, I can't, I just can't find any. I just can't do it. I flew, I found multiple other nether fortresses with my Elytra. None, they don't spawn. Why don't they spawn? I might head back, you guys. I'm out of food, I'm out of steak. Let's head back, I guess. What, what, a, what a failure, what a failure. I suck at hunting Withers, Wither Skeletons. And I returned home to just wait out the time till day 100. Woo, day 100, let's go. Woo. And that was it, day 100. The longest time anyone had ever survived in hardcore Minecraft. Here's the base. In the end, I think it ended up looking pretty darn good. We made a lot of solid farms in these 100 days, but there's a lot more to make. So if you wanna see 200 days, like and subscribe.